Sweetie, it's getting dark. Let's go home now. Has this happened to you? Well, you are not the only one. This is called a transitioning problem. Some children, even adults, have problems transitioning from one activity to another activity. Sometimes, verbal instruction simply doesn't reach them as well as visual instruction. This is quite common among people with autism. People with Autism Spectrum Disorder, or commonly known as ASD, often don't respond very well with sudden changes. They need a heads up of what's going to happen next, which is why a visual scheduler is very helpful to help them anticipate the upcoming activities. Noodle Kids created this app called First then transition time to help people with autism transition from one activity to the next activity smoother. It's the same concept with first then board with cards that therapy centers use. But since this is an app, you can actually bring it anywhere with you and use it anytime you need. Say you want them to put on the shoes once they are finished with their breakfast and wait for the school bus after that. You can put the shoes slash boots card in the first slot and put the school bus card in the then slot. By seeing the upcoming activities in pictures, quite often they get the message better and clearer in their head. If you put first wash hands, then cupcake, they will understand that they need to wash their hands first before having their cupcake. The same goes with other activities, from brushing teeth or playing video games. Most of the basic activities are covered with this first then app. Once the message is delivered, you can also give them a certain amount of time to finish that task. Say you are giving them 10 minutes to first play video games, then move on to having fruit snacks. You can switch to timer mode and let them see the amount of time they have to complete the first activity. Frustration and meltdowns also happen due to people with autism being unable to communicate what they want or how they feel clearly to other people. Some people are simply unable to tell others that they are feeling sad or angry or even what they want, especially when they are nonverbal, shy, or have a language barrier. This app covers some of the basic wants slash needs cards and some of the basic feelings cards to help people with autism communicate better how they feel and what they want. If you have a loved one who is having trouble transitioning or having trouble expressing their feelings and what they want, try this app. It could make a difference for you and them. You can install this app by searching for First Then in Google Play.